Now everyone advised me not to go to Astana, not to go to Nur Sultan because it's too cold there at the moment. If you look at the weather forecast, if we check the weather for Astana, it says minus 19 degrees, mostly sunny, feels like minus 26 degrees Celsius. So yes, yeah, doesn't seem ideal, but I think that's exactly the reason why we should visit. And the way we go there, is by train, by public transport, we can go to Almaty 1 by first going to Almaty 2. So that's what we will do this afternoon. We will check out both of the train stations and some sites along the way. I will walk to Almaty 2, that's four kilometers. And from Almaty 2, I know that there is public transport to Almaty 1. Are you ready? Let's go. If you've seen yesterday's episode, you already know this park and there is again the ice skating in the colorful cathedral and I would say we have a quick closer look before we go to Almaty too. So that's the actual market. I am on the way to the train station and it seems like now I'm starting to discover the actual Almaty. I love markets. That's also where you find the actual Kazakhstan food. So this is another place to get lost. You should come here if you visit Almaty. Now only after six days I'm discovering that there is something to see and do. In like the food area it was much more crowded, but the sellers, they would ask, they would call you to try their dried fruits and all this stuff. Here it's mainly clothes. But that's huge. I have no idea where I am, no idea where the Exit is, this doesn't look like an exit. That's near Almaty 2, should not be more than a kilometer or so to get to Almaty 2. There is also the central mosque. I already saw it from a little bit further away. So you can visit that together with the market and the cathedral we saw before these um, I guess these are the sightseeing places, uh, but if you followed my videos, you probably know that I'm not the expert on sightseeing in Almaty. I am just now discovering those places by accident while I'm about to leave. So the market, it's a huge building with entrances and exits on like 
within the building there are entrances and exits you access different areas while walking around inside the market it's like very confusing i'm now on another side of the market and it should only be two two corners to get to almaty 2 and from almaty 2 i will figure out the public transport to go to almaty 1 the train is going to depart in like six five or six hours plenty of time to figure out how to how to go here there are many restaurants with traditional kazakh food um, other than in the area where i stayed where the my hostel is in the fancy area so all of those six days i kind of spent in like the wrong the wrong part of town don't make those mistakes go and explore um, i was kind of so bored by where i arrived that i didn't really want to take the effort to explore any further would have been better to do that so yeah don't make that mistake here it's a lot more interesting look at that there is nice food on every corner on the map it says Zibek Zolu and Yibek Yolu in Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan was the Silk Road so I expect Zibek Zolu to be the same and the bazaar is obviously called Zeleni Bazaar so again that's the place you want to go to Colorful Cathedral is also worth visiting but yeah, as I said, I'm not an expert on the sightseeing here. In, um, I'm not an expert on, on the sightseeing in Almaty. Didn't really see anything. The train station should now only be a corner away. I have to continue straight for two or three blocks and then take a right. That's only um, Almaty 2 and we need to get to Almaty 1. I still need to find out how to get there and look at the train station. Like a beautiful building. There is in general a little bit more interesting architecture here as well. Part of Almaty where I was is like super modern and the hostel was great the my hostel almaty a nice place to be but the hostel people they told me that that's the best location in the city and it's the best location in the city if you want to stay in the most modern part but because of that i thought that that's what's there to see in almaty and I didn't actually try to find any other area. So what I would recommend to you is start off at um, the market that we just visited and explore the area around really that modern part is certainly not the most interesting part of Almaty. Hello. 
to go to Almaty One. Almaty One. Um, <laughs> the, this way? Mm -hmm. So the bus stop for Almata, Almata 1 is not exactly at the Almata 2 train station. The bus driver now took me around the corner and that's where, that's where the actual bus stop is. It's maybe like two minutes from the train station. He wrote down the bus number for me, bus number 73 to Almata 1. Number 73 never came. Waiting for a taxi now. Hello. It. I don't know. No one was able to actually help me. They told me it's number six, but that's not number six. Probably because I chose the first cart. I have to go to the very first, to the very end. I'm calling Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You want to see? Thank you. 